Hello, welcome to my channel Quinta Entre Aguas. I'm Matthias and my dogs are still in the car. I'm actually on my way uh, to the farm. It's raining, it's I can't even see the I cannot even see the Gadunia and I brought uh, one of my bikes and a wooden two-seater and so far so good no damages but now the fun begins or the difficult part so uh, yeah um, let's see if I get it to the farm without damage later We made it to the farm, the bench is already there, bike is there, trailer is offloaded and the car is charging. So it wasn't as hard as I thought it was or as I expected it, but uh, yeah, it's wet, it's raining, uh, grey sky, so uh, not sure if and what I'm going to do today or maybe tomorrow. Anyhow, I have to go back to Pombal tomorrow because the rest of the week I have a lot of appointments regarding my vehicles. So, we'll see how that goes. But the first bike is here. I still need to find a different place because I don't like it there. I do have a cover for her. So I'm gonna put that tomorrow, I guess. And uh, yeah, that's it for now and for today. I'll uh, see you later. Good morning. Although it's a gray and rainy day, I think I can still do some things. What I noticed is the roofers, they put some tape um, that's not the metal sheet they need to put um, had a call from the roofer earlier he will be uh, coming over to get the first pallet of uh, roof tiles and other things here although this week might be too wet and you can see maybe the bottom row of uh, stones is getting wet again so i think i do need to remove some earth behind that wall at some point um, one little 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 thing i'm going to do is uh, I am going to replace the extension cord that I'm using to connect to the extension cord from a neighbor because it's actually a two-piece extension cord. So I have one of 50 meters and one of five, which means I have a junction here and this is another point water could enter. So I bought a 20 meter extension cord and I'm gonna put that one just to reduce that one junction okay later the extension cord has been replaced and I just got a call from the roofer he will be here in 20-30 minutes and then we offload his truck and uh, I probably will then have to pack up and leave, as they say. Since, uh, like I said earlier, I need to be in Pombal the rest of the week. So, fortunately, not a whole lot I can do on the farm this week. But yeah, sometimes it's like that. Okay, later. While I'm waiting for Pedro, the roofer, I start dismantling this water toilet to put my compost toilet in this spot. Can't be that difficult, can it? Alright, 
later. There you go, one removed toilet. Now I need to find a way to clean it up a little bit, measure the, the hole, and then I use the cuttings from the under roof or ceiling um, to close this from underneath. Okay, later. That cleaned up quite nicely, although the only soap I had is uh, dishwashing soap, but it did the trick nevertheless. So now to take care of this hole. Pedro, the roofer, has arrived with uh, some of my materials. It's the first of three pallets of about a thousand kilos with my roof tiles and I think some wood, uh, I don't know how you call it in English, where the tiles come on top of it. So I, uh, I'm going to help offload and then uh, probably going to head home to Pombal, to my other home. Later! We offloaded the wood and that's now dry and safe in here and the rest of the roof tiles we're probably gonna put here and wherever Pedro is placing that lump, that one. Oh yeah, <laughs> let's do it! And we're done. The roof tiles are here and there and the truck is empty. None of that stuff is needed for my roof. Um, it's about a thousand kilos of roof tiles we moved. So yeah, a little bit of a sweat. But uh, like I said to Pedro, I didn't have my morning gym today. So it was a good exercise. Later. We are under the mobile home. This is the hole I want to fix. Got the screwdriver, screws and the cutoffs. Now, is there a position? Um. That should work. it started to split a little bit but I guess it will do the trick doesn't need to be waterproof or anything just so no unwanted guests can come in and I have a lot more of those cuttings so maybe I do it again in the future and pre-trill the holes for the screws so that the wood don't split but for now, it's done and dusted. Only thing left to do is to put the uh, composting toilet on that spot. But uh, I'm not going to screw it down just yet. I'm going to do that the next time I have to clean it anyway. Which makes it a little bit less stinky <laughs> when I have to do it. So. I'm done for now and um, gonna pack up my stuff and head back to Pombal. Later! And this is how it looks from the inside. Good enough! And with the composting toilet in this place, you can't even see it. So, job well done. Later. Hello and good morning. I'm uh, wet to the bone because I had to go to uh, 
inspection for my motorcycle. But IMT is so smart to not inform their people when they move the location because it's raining. So I had to... And they don't have an address where the, lo the location was so that you can drive there. No, they explain it to you in very colorful uh, pictures, but I didn't get it. So that cost me about an hour to find the place. And now they say, no, no, you have to wait in the rain till we, ca till we get there. This is uh, service world class of IMT. Okay, later. Hello, today I'm at uh, Abimoto for a noise test. For a noise test uh, of my Husqvarna to uh, get it imported. I've just been to the, to the reception and uh, they know I'm here but now I have to wait about 40 minutes for the engineer to show up because the actual testing is uh, at a different location so uh, I'll wait and uh, we'll see how the test goes later we arrived at the location where the noise test is I'm now offloading my bike and then the moment of truth one, will, it, will she start? And two, will she pass the noise test? Later. Test is over and she failed. They did actually two tests. One is stationary, which apparently has no limit, so you can't fail that one. And the other one is um, moving between the pylons uh, at the start with 4000 RPM and then uh, accelerate to the end. And we did this test at the um, Aero Club at uh, Agueda. So now we have to see what we can do about that. If we um, can improve the, the noise of the bike to get it past the test. Uh, that will take a while. All right, later. Hello, um, today my, my car gets a service from the mobile Tesla service and usually that's at my home but because it's uh, raining very heavily in, in, in intermittently um, the engineer suggested to go to a parking lot of a supermarket that has uh, cover so he can work in a dry which is a great idea and uh, yeah, that's what we do. So, um, I'm afraid that's it for this week. Um, once he's done, I'm gonna edit the video and, and upload it to YouTube. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Uh, hit the like button. If you haven't done so yet, please uh, click su subscribe. And any comments, anything you have to say about this video or any other, use the comment section. That will help the channel a lot. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, you're going to watch the, the next video as well. And until then, have a nice weekend, stay healthy and stay happy. Bye bye.